So give me three points, three practical things, easy tips for me to get my Iman up. TTT is therapy through tahajjud. Therapy through tahajjud. Yes, therapy. It is therapy. People do therapy through uh, medicine. Antidepressants. People do therapy through counseling and talking. This is non-invasive, spiritual, Allah-centric therapy. TTT, therapy through tahajjud or qiyam, as many know it as. It's the night prayer that you do in the last third of the night. You wake up just half an hour before Fajr and pray two rakahs and then finish with witr, the last of three rakahs. As Sheikh Al-Muthameen said, like this is enough. Some people think that they can they have to pray all the time. Look, not everyone can do it. So people just give it up. Do it. No, inshallah, you can do it with just this small amount. So that's the first point. It will change your life. You will find how does it change your life? You will find that your du'as will be answered. Subhanallah. Why? Because Allah says that He descends in the last third of the night in a matter that befits him. And he asks, Is there anyone to ask me? I'll give them. So my question to you is, what do you want? What do you need? Many of the scholars said, if you really, really want something, actually it shows that you don't want it unless you pray tajud. So tajud. Point number two, read some Quran at Fajr time. Once you finish your salah, read a few ayat. And if you look, there are certain programs where you can do it on your phone or have your mushaf with you or something. Just a few verses with understanding, with some tadabbur, pondering. Stick to two verses or three verses per day in the morning. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that indeed the recital of the Quran at Fajr, it is mashhuda. It is witnessed by the angels as the mufassirin say. So, do some Quran, read some Quran, understand, think. Don't go for 10 pages, 5 pages and leave it for one week, no. Three ayat is, inshallah, good and consistency, right? Which is my last point. <clears throat> so, tahajjud, number one. Number two, Quran after Fajr. Number three, be steadfast in number one and number two. Because istiqama, consistency, is discipline, it is part of our deen, it is the recipe for success. Ajud, Quran with understanding, and be steadfast on point number one and point number two. You will see a huge change in your life, in your iman. Only with these two? Yes, only with this. Even if you do one of them, subhanAllah, most likely, your life will change. But have a sincere niyyah. Do it for Allah. And as I said, the last point is you have to have consistency. You cannot just say, I'm going to pray once, I'm going to read Quran once, and then that's it. Oh, it did nothing work. I'm still feeling the same. Okay, I'm going to give it up. Most people give it up, yes. Because they think it's going to somehow change in the first attempt, or second, or third, or fourth. No. SubhanAllah, one of the scholars said that I prayed Qiyam al lay for like something like 20 years. And I did not uh, ma I didn't find the the sweetness of Iman. But after 20 years, he finally felt it. 20 years, and he's a scholar. What about you and I? Now inshallah, it's not gonna take 20 years, right? <laughs> but bi idni ta'ala, you will see a huge difference, inshallah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم